What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So this upcoming Monday is going to be the first Monday of December, which means it is time for a pixel drop. There have been a lot of features rumored for this. And also today on the Friday prior to that Monday release, Google announced some new features coming not only to pixel phones, but all Android devices. There's about 11 new updates across different uh, services they offer. Some new updates are actually pretty cool. So these will be rolling out in the coming weeks. It's always staggered. You know how Google does it, unfortunately. But we'll talk about the Pixel Drop on Monday. I want to talk about these 11 new features and updates today. We don't have it yet on any of our other devices, but let's go through some of these slides, courtesy of Droid Life, and look at some of these updates. So starting things off, first up is Google TV, where Google's looking to improve making the app quicker for casting content. Google TV now will show this little logo you can see on the bottom right side that shows any TVs nearby that are cast capable. Once you connect, as you continue browsing the app or watch something, you can literally just take a single tap on a show or movie and it will automatically cast over to the TV uh, and it'll actually automatically pull up the remote to give you more controls as well. This is a pretty neat feature. I personally have Google TVs everywhere or I have Google TV integrated with my other TVs or have a Chromecast all around the house, so this will be awesome. Next up is digital car keys. They're getting ready for a sharing update. And if you heard from Apple recently, this is actually going to be cross-platform, which is amazing. But for now, they're announcing today that you can share all of these new keys with a friend and family member. If you have a digital key set up already, you'll see a new share car key option. That'll make the process a lot more seamless of creating a key for a specific person. It'll send them a link and that'll get them up and running and ready to take over your car. Beyond that, next we have a Wear OS update where Google is now adding in a couple of new tiles. One will give you a sunrise and sunset option and another will show your favorite contacts list. There will also be an update to Google Keep app. So your notes on the phone and watch will look the same. It'll be consistent across the platforms. It should mean viewing labels, custom background pictures and drawings um, should all look the same from your phone onto your smaller wrist screen. And also for Wear OS, Google has teamed up with Adidas, they said, to add an assistant command. When you say, hey, you know what, start a run with Adidas running, that will automatically fire up a workout. Beyond that also, now we're going to move on to Google or uh, YouTube where Google is saying it is now adding a new search widget, widget, as you can see here. This will actually give you the option to search directly from this widget and also have shortcuts to let you jump into the home, shorts, subscriptions, and your library. That's very beneficial. I personally like that. Probably one of the bigger updates I'm looking forward to in this drop. There's also some stuff new with Google Photos as well. The new styles feature that Google announced back in September is getting updated styles for the holiday. There's two of those. There are also updates to Google Messages where Google is giving you the power to reply to a specific messages in line. So within a conversation, you can swipe across a message to offer a specific reply and reply directly to it. As you type, you'll see a virtual indicator that you are indeed replying to a message. Pretty cool as well. The last ones are a little bit smaller. There's a new emoji kitchen. Google's adding even more emoji kitchen options for the holidays. Reading mode, so in accessibility, Google has improved reading mode by letting you customize contrast, text size, text to speech, and font types on both web pages and apps. And then security, there's a new safety alert that will show on your profile picture in the Google app if there are recommendations to help you secure your account anymore. So again, these will be rolling out here in the coming weeks. What do you guys think? You looking forward to this update? Let us know in the comments below. I hope this helps. Looking forward to that pixel drop on Monday. Stay tuned for that video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.